I just found these at the grocery store today. White Castle Cheeseburger Bites. They're either going to be awesome or they're going to be god-awful. Either way, we're going to find out. Now, while these cook, I think it's important to talk about the plan here because these remind me of pizza rolls. And the thing about pizza rolls is no matter how long you let them cool off, you can cook them and let them sit on the counter all night long. Come back in the morning to take a bite and they will melt the roof of your mouth off. So we're gonna cook these and we're gonna let them cool off a little bit. All right, so I followed the package. I did eight minutes at 400 degrees. They came out a little bit crispy, busting at the seams with the cheese a little bit. Otherwise, they're ready to go. All right, guys, we're done. I've got about 15 minutes to cool, but you know, that won't help any. But let's try it out. White Castle Cheeseburger Bites. Let's get it. So they smell like White Castle. The kitchen smells like White Castle. It's a good thing the wife's not here because she says, no dogs in the house, no White Castle in the house. These smell like White Castle. Very doughy, just like the pizza roll. I don't know, guys. I've ate more White Castle than any man that you know. And I can taste a little bit of the White Castle in it. It's missing the pickle. Um, but it's, the dough is too much. It's overpowering. On a scale of 1 to a 10 sack, I'm giving you about 3.25 on a 10 sack. White Castle Cheeseburger Bites. Pass.